using the same 45 ACP handgun. The rounds we're firing out of the 45 automatic will be traveling at approximately 790 feet per second. For the test, our crew built a shooting bench and then attached a pistol vise called a ransom rest. Placing the gun in a ransom rest allows Bill to hold it steady and fire using this red lever. There was some debate whether we should use a red lever or a yellow lever. Red lever, yellow lever, red lever, yellow lever. We went with red. We set up a sheet of Lexan, the same material used in bulletproof glass to protect Bill from shrapnel. And here's a butter knife we stole from a diner. It's locked down 50 inches away from the gun. And a laser bore sight from the barrel lines up the shot so the bullet will strike exactly in the middle of the knife. Will the dull butter knife stand up to this beating? Let's ask our expert. I don't think the uh, butter knife is going to stand a chance in you know what. We know what. We're just not saying it. Unlike the hand-pounded, finely-made sword, the butter knife is cold-forged, a process best explained by showing you this 1958 educational flick. Say, look at that swell stamping press. It knocks out butter knives and other lesser cutlery from sheets of cold stainless steel, which are only 1 16th of an inch thick. No layering, no craftsmanship, and no centuries of tradition go into making this butter knife. But will it split a bullet? All right, fire in the hole. One round. Three, two, one. Fire! Wow, it split the bullet. A butter knife split a bullet. Take another look at that amazing real shot and listen to that amazing fake sound effect. Hey, what do you expect? Sound sucks in slow motion. And we all love the sound of a bucket of glass being thrown against a golf cart. Really, we didn't think this was going to work, nor did our expert Bill. I'm amazed, man. Right? I am. I'm not going to say that. Good. There you go. The cold stamp steel of the butter knife is every bit as effective as the samurai sword at splitting a bullet.